Hello, thank you for tuning in. In this video, we'll be talking about the three different types of firms, starting out with sole proprietorship, then going to partnerships, and finally corporations. So let us start off with sole proprietorship. This is where there is usually only one employee and that employee is usually the owner. He works by himself and he gets all the profits and losses. So let's talk about the pros and cons of a sole proprietorship if you wish to start any. So the first pro is that it is very easy to set up when you compare it with other types of firms. And also it has very less paperwork when you're trying to file the papers under your name. Let's say you want to start a company, it's under your name, the paperwork are very less. And since it's very easy to set up and very less paperwork, it costs you very less. Okay, now let's talk about the cons of a sole proprietorship. The main biggest con of the sole proprietorship is that imagine if someone sues your company for some reason. It could be any reason depending upon what company you start up. And if your company does not have any money left to pay, they sue you. They can take hold of your personal assets. So let's say you're the person on the left and the person on the right is trying to sue you. They can reach out the money in your pocket and they can take it. That doesn't physically happen, but it go they go to a court and the court does all of this. So that is the biggest risk that you want to understand, acknowledge before you have to start a sole proprietorship. Okay, secondly, we're going to talk about the partnerships. And the partnership, there are three different types that you need to know in partnerships. Okay, so the three different types are the main types that you might want to set up and each one of them has their pros and cons and I will recommend one which is with the least risk. So the first one, we talk about general partnerships. Okay, general partnerships, we have a few people, all of them are general partners, They let's say three people, okay. Um, they all put the money together and they raise that money and they manage that money in whatever firm they're making. And a very good example is in accounting and law firms, right? So people put their money together and that money is used to put advertisements, any rental cost and anything else. So they share, let's say three people, the three people share all of the profits, okay? Now, a main problem with such a kind of firm is that if any one of them gets into a problem or causes a problem and they leave the country, okay, uh, and someone else sues the company, the person who leaves the company is safe. They leave the country and the, r the rest of the two person who is in the country, what happens is that they have to pay if they don't have any assets, the company doesn't have any assets. Okay, so second of all, let's talk about limited partnerships. This is where there is usually some general partners along with some limited partners. Okay, so general partners, let's say we have about two general partners plus five limited partners. Now, let us put a circle around them to note that there are two different types of people with two different kinds of benefits and risks, right? The limited partner has very few risks associated with them. When the company gets sued, the, they do not get personally sued, but the general partners have liability in such an event. So the limited partners are much viewed much safer. You, but what is the reason for creating like this is that you can raise money from limited partners. The third partnership is the limited liability partnerships. Now this is a much more interesting one. It is where it usually consists of general partners, let's say three general partners in this case and you know one of them screws up and creates a problem and the company gets sued, right? And all of that, the things that we said before, right? If the company has enough money, they sue you. Um, so what happens here is that the rest of the two persons, they are protected, right? Assuming that they have not involved in that bad practice, they're protected from any problem the third person has caused. So if you're going to do a partnership, it is better to start a limited liability partnership. Some people like accounting and law firms choose a general partnership to show that they are trustworthy. Okay, now let's go on to corporations. Uh, corporations are like a legal entity. 
Okay, corporations are a legal entity that share uh, benefits of a person. To be exact, the benefits that you get from your country. So let's say you can buy stuff. A corporation can buy stuff. You can enter into con contracts and you can get loans and you can get sued. So can the corporation. Let's say you declare personal bankruptcy. The corporation can also declare personal bankruptcy. So let us write that down. So first, you can enter in contracts. Let's say a contract, any contract you can think of. And secondly, you can get loans. Right, that in itself is a contract you could think of and you can own assets okay so that is what a corporation is and a lot of people do prefer owning a corporation I'll tell you that why in a few seconds okay yes bankruptcy now this is one of the main reasons that people choose corporations because if the company doesn't have enough money to pay off uh, any lawsuit it doesn't the people who are owning the corporation doesn't have to pay personally for the problem and so let us talk about the people who own this so there is no people that I am aware of who are general partners or limited partners when it comes to a corporation we have shareholders they are the person who own a share in the company or a stock they all share the company right so they have share all the its assets and liabilities and not there could be millions of shareholders so they all come together and they select a few people known as the board of directors who are in charge of taking all of the decisions that can maximize the wealth of the corporation. So let's say a million shareholders put some kind of votes to choose you know, 5, 10 directors who will then hopefully elect a CEO and there's a lot of stuff they do. When speaking about corporations, I really want to introduce to you some concepts like a dividend, right? If you are aware of a dividend, that's great, but just let's cover the concept of a dividend. What is a dividend? Dividend is just a method to pay back the investors of a company or of a corporation, right? This money that Cons that makes up the dividend is the money that the corporation has after paying any taxes. So this is part of a net income. So the part of a net income is given back as dividend to the shareholders. That money goes to the shareholders. Okay. So what happens is the corporation pays tax and after the rest of the money that goes, some of them goes to the corporation saving account and some of them goes back to the person, shareholders. Now, this creates a huge problem of double taxation and a lot of people want to avoid that. So here is a very cool thing that can help you to get away from that, okay? So that you don't have to pay double tax, you can only pay one time. So that awesome magical word is called the flow through entities an example of that is the REITs real estate investment trusts what they do is that they make sure that so what are real estate investment trusts you might be thinking so let's say you own a few you know it's a company that owns a lot of real estate properties that generate rental income so the money from that goes directly to the people owning that corporation owning the REITs the corporation itself doesn't have to pay any corporate tax, right? It All the money goes to the persons owning, the shareholders of the REIT. And the shareholders only pay the tax at a personal level. So there's a corporate level and a personal level. So it makes sure that they pay the tax only at the personal level. And that solves the double taxation problem. Okay, so let us go back to the corporations, right? I want to mention the corporations are the least riskiest among all of the businesses, okay? Because it can save your personal assets. That's the main reason. So, the corporation has more paperwork than any other sole proprietorship or partnership. And because of more work, it is more costly and expensive. Okay, but the main thing about corporations is that it protects your personal assets. It protects the owner's personal assets in any case of problem that might arise. So anyone, if you're choosing a firm, please choose corporation. That is the best thing you can do. And thank you for watching this video on types of firms.
the end.